to your esteemed listeners, you're highly welcome to Nigeria ish, reaching you live from your favorite station, talking about Vicky Lodia Radio. And yeah, Nigeria ish is a program where we're going to talk about issues bordering the average Nigerian issues. Uh, yes, of course, bordering the masses, issues cutting across the political scene, the economic scene, and uh, yeah, the social scene. And it's reaching your life. We're going to bring it to you smoothly and nicely. And it's reaching you live right here on your favorite station, Vicky Lonia Radio. And I'm super, 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 super excited to be bringing this program to you. And my name, yes, of course, is E to the M to the M to the A to the R to the N to the O to the E to the L, Emmanuel. And I urge you to sit back, relax as we break it down for you and bring it to you smoothly. And yes, of course, uh, nicely. Yep, it's the maiden edition of the show. And so we're just going to talk about, we're going to pick in few of those issues bordering the average Nigerians, few of those issues, you know, troubling the average Nigerians. And yeah, ah, uh, are you one of those Nigerians who have been asking yourself a whole lot of questions? Uh, why are things this way? Why are the excess of this? Why is there this? Why is there that? Why can't we just get things done? Why can't we just get things right or get things properly done in this country? Are you one of those trying to run away? Are you one of those trying to say that, yeah, this can't be done properly? Are you one of those who have totally lost faith in this country? Hey, come on. You're asking too many questions, man. You're asking a lot of questions, but no one to answer. You ask yourself this, you ask yourself that, you ask yourself so many whys. And most often, there's usually no one there to give you the desired response or answer. I've been able to travel across some states in this great nation. I've met the youth, I've met other children, I've met the elderly. I've asked them how they feel about this country and here, trust me, the answers are always mixed. The answers most times are always encouraging. So we'll give you responses of hope. Some, yes, of course, we'll give you the opposite response. <laughs> some would tell you they want to run away. Some would tell you, hey, come on, we have crop leaders and we have this and we have that. We have this and we have that. And I ask them what they are doing differently to make sure this country changes in a way. I ask them what they think they can do to make this country better than the way it is. Well, hey, come on. Everyone try to shift the blame, pour the blame on the leaders. No one is ready to take responsibility. And hey, come on. I tell them it's not the best way to go. It's not the best way to go at all. Yeah, I have a whole lot of stuff lined up here for you guys. I have a whole lot of stuff. To discuss to talk about but hey come on we're gonna pick them one after the other yeah uh one of the issues i have here with me is the issue of power yeah light power 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 light uh, why has it been so difficult for nigeria as a nation to hold its own when it comes to power why has it been so 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 difficult for our leaders to get it right in the place of power why has it been so so difficult for nigeria to celebrate since for us uninterrupted pass of like hey come on uh you ask the average nigerian when will that time be when will it come when will light come when are we gonna celebrate power? they tell you they don't know uh some will tell you it might just never just might never come and hey come on uh, but i ask myself why has it been so so difficult you know we keep on seeing leaders upon leaders, we keep on seeing politicians come out to read us, spell out manifestos, they come out to spell out their agendas and always, there are always provisions for power and hey, come on, they're still struggling. We're still struggling as a nation, we're still finding it very, very difficult to hold our own, we're still finding very, very difficult to, you know, get power in this nation. The industries are running away, the companies are folding up, factories are running away, they're folding up, come on, man. They're finding it very, very difficult to cope with the challenges of power in this great nation nigeria and here you begin to ask yourself why won't people be jobless why will the hospitals not go on strike why will the schools not close up why will the research institutions not go on strike why will they not fold up there is no light what can we do and it's very very difficult to believe that a, a, a nation such as nigeria uh, that has a, a whole lot of resources uh, nigeria is a nation blessed with a whole lot of resources we've got tin here we've got timber We've got, uh, we've got water, we've got wind, we've got a whole lot of natural gas. But well, hey, come on, we still can put all of those resources to use to see that, yeah, we, 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 we can hold our own and make it possible for our, our citizens to, you know, enjoy uninterrupted power supply. Uh, I had the vice president of the country saying the other day that there would not be a time uh, where, when there would 
um, sorry, there would be a time where there will have to be an increase in the tariff of electricity. And I begin to wonder and ask myself, why would you want me to pay more for something I do not use? Why would you want me to pay more for something I don't see? Why not fix power first and increase the tariff? You know, the Nigerians will be happy. The average Nigerian will be very, very happy and pleased to pay more when he is assured that, yes, he's going to get value for his money. When he's assured that he's going to get power, he's not sure that he's going to get light when he pays. And I said to myself, hey, come on, man. I fix power first before you're talking about uh, increment or something like that. The Honorable Minister of Housing and Power talking about uh, uh, Babatunde Raji Fashola, you know, has in the past uh, mentioned something like this that, hey, come on, uh, he's going to increase electricity tariff and all of that. And I say, oh, come on, man. Uh, you're, 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 you're a minister of a country where people are finding it very, very difficult to feed, where people are totally dependent on the existence of power supply. You know, there is no money, there is no cash. The bills on the ground are too, too exorbitant. You know, we pay exorbitant bills, we pay uh, crazy bills, and yet there is no light. Are you talking about increasing the bill? Hey, come on, man. That is not the good way. That is not the way to go. Fix light, fix power, and people yes of course would be more than willing to pay would be willing to you know pay more nigeria the most populous nation in africa you know i have some amazing stats here that further supports the fact that nigeria is a giant of africa uh, over 50 percent of the total market presence in west africa belongs to nigeria alone nigeria the most populous black nation in the world you know, and it's very, very difficult to know that Nigeria is still struggling, is still struggling. You know, over 30%, uh, less than 30%, I beg your pardon, of the Nigerian populace live uh, below less than $1 uh, a month. Less than $1, yeah, they live below a dollar, yeah, I beg your pardon. They live below a dollar and uh, you begin to wonder why, you begin to wonder what's going on what's happening can we ever get it right in this nation can we ever get this done properly and you begin to wonder you begin to ask yourself what our leaders are doing i was made to believe that it wasn't like this in the past we used to have light in the past my dad told me this he said there used to be light in this nation in the past and then you begin to wonder what happened what happened to nigeria can we ever get back to our glory days can we ever get it right in the power sector we have all the resources we have the brains we turn out graduates every year we turn out people who would know how to harness uh these you know resources to make sure nigeria you know celebrates an uninterrupted power supply but hey come on you begin to ask why you begin to ask what's going on why 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 can't we have light in this country and hey come on the more you ask the more confused you get <clears throat> all right people away from that let's not forget that this is nigeria ish it's nigeria ish a program where we're going to talk about the recent happenings in idea nation nigeria and it's reaching you live on your favorite station talking about vikinonia radio all right away from uh the past sector let's talk about finance let's talk about cash let's talk about the day-to-day -day living of the average nigerian how we're living in this country you know how we live in are we living right uh, does the average nigerian feel pleased with what he earns uh the 18,000 naira minimum wage is it enough you know uh, i saw i saw i saw uh i saw a worker the other day state worker the other day and he he was telling me that his take home can't even take him home and you know i smiled but i, I could i could see the pain in the face of this nigeria and i could see the concern you know things are too too expensive and people find it very difficult to feel there is too much abject poverty in the land what are we doing you know we not really uh, um, crawled out of the recession um <clears throat> zone some days back and you know people are saying they're yet to feel the effect people are saying they're yet to feel the change what's going on you know what's going on in the in the, in the past uh uh, during the era, era of the oil, but before oil showed up, we're living fine. We're exporting a whole lot of stuff. We're exporting uh, palm oil, we're exporting granite, we're exporting timber, you know, we're exporting yams. You know, we made a whole lot of money. Nigeria was uh, the best when it comes to um, 
uh, the African economy in those days. You know, we're able to hold our own. We're the be- we're the richest country in Africa, and one of the richest in the world. But hey, what happened? All showed up in 1956, and you know what was supposed to be a blessing turned out to be a curse. You know, we had a whole lot of stories about um, the whole lot of money we made uh, during the oil boom. So I knew Koso came out then to say, hey, we made mistake during the oil boom, not knowing it was going to be our doom. Was it our doom? Did we make mistake? Was oil a mistake in Nigeria? Hey, come on. I'm as confused as you are. We keep on asking these questions every day. And, you know, the answers just refuse to come. And we begin to wonder when and when we're going to get it right in this country. You know, uh, you look at other nations, South Africa, you know, we claim to be a giant of Africa. And yes, we can't just rub shoulders with uh, some of the big boys in Africa. We begin to wonder why. We begin to ask ourselves what's going on. Can this nation ever get it right? Can this nation ever hold its own? You know, ah, the questions are as good as mine. And one can just only hope and pray that things get better in this nation, Nigeria. It's Nigeria-ish, people. It's station, the one and only Vicky Lonia Radio, your favorite station. We're bringing it down to you here nicely. We're breaking it down. We're talking about issues affecting the average Nigerian. We're talking about issues affecting the masses. We're talking about when and how Nigeria will ever get it right as a nation. But hey, what can I say? It's that time of the hour, people, where we gotta go. We have to go. We have to draw the curtains here, people. It's been nice. It's been wonderful bringing it down to you nicely. It's been an absolute moment, a fantastic moment for me. Uh, What can I say? I'll be back here, same time, same station next week and i urge us all to keep on believing let's keep on praying for our dear nation nigeria let's keep on hoping and wishing things get better the complaints will not do it yes let's do our best and capacity to change our ways change your attitudes and trust me nigeria will get better till i see you again it is my prayer that god blesses you and blesses me and yes of course blesses you have one and only favorite station, Vicky Lonia Radio. And yes, of course, may he bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Till I see you again. Till I come your way again. Stay good and stay blessed. Bye for now.